Aloha everybody, my name is Masahiro Ito from the College of Micronesia Land Grant Program in Pompeii, FSM. The project title is Sea Cucumber Hatchery Production Technology Transfer in Pompeii, the Federated States of Micronesia, Year 2. There are four objectives of this project. Objective number one is search and collect sunfish, Australia Scabra, broodstock in Pompeii Lagoon. And objective two, uh, conduct broodstock conditioning, spawning induction, and larva rearing. And objective three, develop a method for the sunfish juvenile production in Pompeii. And object number four is to train micronations for the sea cucumber hatchery operation. The coastal fishing communities not only in Micronesia but also in other Pacific islands with few other options for earning lovely food are interested in high valued uh, Horothurian sea cucumbers such as the sunfish Horothuria scabra. In Pompeii State of the Federated States of Micronesia, the sea cucumber fishery was once prosperous, but it was based on boom and bust business. And there has been chronic overfishing to the level of extinction of almost all high valued species, which led to the Pompeii State government's total export ban of all sea cucumber species in 1995. Rebuilding industry and enhancing commercially important resources are major concern. A hatchery-based approach was thought to be the most relevant way to rehabilitate wild stocks of the sunfish in the lagoon of Pompeii. In October 2008, the hatchery and juvenile grow-out system were installed and Wild stock survey of the sunfish began to assess the status of abundance and distribution in Pompeii Lagoon. Along with the wild stock survey, more than 200 boot stock were collected from the vicinity of the hatchery of for propagation work, and they are they were held in land-based tank system, which uses a combined flow through and a closed recirculating raceway system. So spawning induction trials have begun from January 2009. This is our hatchery facilities at the niche point in Pompeii and we have been using this facility for the per oyster hatchery work and uh, we, com we uh, combine uh, this uh, pearl work and then uh, sea cucumber work and uh, we uh, built uh, the extension part for uh, growing out the, the sea cucumber juveniles and rootstock holding system. According to the local people there are there have been uh, uh, plenty sunfish, Holosuri uh, Ascabra uh, in the mangrove uh, tidal uh, flat area. So we started uh, searching uh, uh, these in the sunfish habitat along the uh, mangrove area of the Pompeii Island. Uh, the survey method were CPUE, catch bar unit effort, and LT, line transact. Line transact. Uh, is based on the duplicate of 2 meter by 50 meter and in one uh, search point and uh, we did the three uh, different uh, direction uh, the two along the mangrove shore the one to the onshore direction and the survey was conducted at daytime and or at night
During 1996 to 1998, and also in 1994, extensive uh, stock survey of the sea cucumber were done by the other scientists, and they concluded nothing or near extinct uh, in terms of uh, sunfish resources. And in 1996 to 1998, they only found one sunfish and nothing in 2004. However, and it is uh, very surprised, uh, we are very surprised at the high number of uh, sunfish we found uh, during the, uh, this, you know, the survey period, and the Madelinium southeast of Pompey Lagoon, where it used to be a center of the commercial exploitation, has now indicated the highest abundance of the sunfish, and 28.8 sunfish per staff hour. And also in uh, uh, close to our hatchery site. Uh, we found a 2.2 uh, sunfish per staff hour. So the sunfish uh, stocks are not uh, near extinct, but they are quite abundant. Uh, similarly, the, the line transact, uh, the stock survey, also show that uh, the sunfish are abundant, not near extinct. The sunfish habitat is characterized by a dense seagrass bed with the eel grass of the tidal flat with 8 inches, 20 centimeter or deeper soft muddy sand substrate along the mangrove forest. The raceway tank was designed to simulate such a natural habitat by applying a concept of the ecoculture or recycling system. Uh, introduced the, uh, introducing uh, a semi-closed recirculating seawater culture method. Uh, this slide you know, that showed that the how we uh, set up our recycling system, our um, semi-closed recirculating seawater system. The first, we introduced that the, the sub-sand filter system. Uh, the layers of the, the core rocks, gravels, and then coarse uh, sand, and then the fine sand uh, with the um, muddy sand from the, the natural habitat. And uh, we also were planted at the, the live uh, sea grasses or, or seaweed from the pearl farm, or even uh, from the, the decaying uh, the sea grasses. Uh, this is a diagram of the sunfish hauling tank. The collected uh, sea cucumber broodstock are kept in, the, in this system for long term, and which means that, uh, around six months to uh, one, one, one year without you know, the, the major maintenance, just so we uh, introduce uh, uh, once a month, uh, some you know, uh, muddy s sand from uh, natural habitat or some uh, decaying uh, sea grasses. And these animals are quite happy and uh, during the daytime they burrow in, in, in the sand and uh, they come up during the night time and they start you know, the feeding frenzy. Spawning induction is basically the same as the pearl oyster uh, spawning work, and uh, we use it the dry treatment and then our thermal shock, uh, the rapid uh, increase of the temperature, raising temperature, and then our fertilized eggs are collected and counted. So the the basic technique is uh, similar to the the pearl oysters. 
Lower railing technique is basically the same as the pearl oysters, and we use a uh, monoculture mixture of the monoculture uh, microalgae and until the settlement. Uh, the settlement occurred around uh, 10 to uh, 14 days, and then we, we place in the settlement a uh, plate in, uh, to collect uh, these uh, new resettled postulari and then uh, transfer to the and, uh, undercover area for a grow out phase. Uh, we develop our own uh, feeding protocols in Pompeii uh, during uh, this uh, project and um, uh, applied for uh, uh, the already uh, published uh, uh, the paper from our uh, uh, overseas and um, modified to suit to our you know, uh, working condition and uh, the basically the, the culture method is based on the uh, static batch culture in the early uh, lava reading stage and, and then shift to the uh, switch to the partial flow through then uh, finally a full time flow through uh, culture system then and uh, settle juveniles and during the second uh, juvenile grow out uh, culture and uh, we utilize that uh, habitat simulator. Naturally occurring uh, algae are, are cultivated and fed the set, uh, settled juveniles after one month on the settlement plate, the juveniles were removed from the place and then transferred to the raceway tanks with false bottom which simulates sunfish natural habitat. The juvenile growth varied from individuals without an active feeding method. And it seems to be applicable to hold newly settled juveniles temporarily up to around six months without giving particular food except for monthly adding of the muddy sand from the natural habitat. For fattening the juveniles, we need to provide more food and periodical feeding methods are necessary for faster growth. From the, the tank, you know, the observation of the behavior of the juveniles, we went back to the, the wild habitat and then tried at the, the survey again, and twice as many sunfish were found at night. The hatching technology transfer was done very smoothly as all the margination staff were trained to handle all aspects of the pearls the hatchery operation. So I was able to introduce the same close recirculating water system for this sea cucumber work on holding rootstock and just juveniles grow out. This system must be simple to handle for the staff as well as economic for conducting mul multitask operation at our hatching. This project will have an opportunity to evolve into the stock enhancement project and reopen the sunfish export activity in the Pompeii Lagoon. These are the outdoor grow out tanks and up to a one and a half uh, year period. And uh, we grow them to the, the suitable size for a tagging experiment and restocking trial. Uh, this year uh, we started at the uh, tagging at uh, trials and uh, also restocking the hatchery uh, produce uh, uh, sea cucumber uh, sunfish and also training at uh, our uh, hatchery staff project staff for uh, the better tacking uh, techniques thank you